Yes, live na kami. Mga siguro mga siguro 10 seconds ago pa lang. Ah, okay. <laughs> 10 seconds ago pa lang. Welcome everybody. This is Miss Charlene Ormo. Uh, her brother is one of my favorite students. Pero we'll find out if the Ormos will live up to their <laughs> ano ba to? to their legacy na parang ewan ko kung anong meron sa mga Ormo. Matatalino ba talaga sila? Swerte ba talaga sila? O chamba-chamba lang? Okay, and kanina we were talking about ano bang pinaggagawa ng magkapatid na to? Specifically si Charlene. Na parang at age 23. Tama ba ako, Charlene? Ngayon, mm, you're, yeah. you're 23 years old, but you're like Methuselah in terms of wisdom. In tipong Methuselah. age mo is like like 800 years old. Over. Uh, nakikinig ako and I was like, parang, holy cow. Nung ako, 23, hindi ko naisip yung mga pinag-iisip mo. Nang iniisip ko lang is, makabili ako ng, makabili lang ako ng motor, mga pang down payment lang ako ng, siguro, magkano ba down payment ng motor nun? 6,000, 7,000. May panghulog ako ng mga 3,000, 4,000. Uh-huh. Masayang masaya na ako kasi marami na akong chicks nun. Pero ito, itong pag-uutak ng mga to, lalo na si Charlene parang when she was telling her story na sobrang daming kabal balang pinaggagawa nila. <laughs> Sabi niya, marketing, ano ba? Magkano ulit ang gigilansas niyo? Hindi. Over. Ang kinita niya is $68. Kinita niya is $68, right? Magkano yung pinasok mo? Yeah. Over the, over, in total, over two years. Or more is more than a million. More than a million. Ang ganda. Yung ROI, ang ganda. Isipin mo, $68, tapos nagpasok sila ng 1 million, 2 million, more. Ano man. Mm-hmm. Ang lumabas, $68. Ang ganda ng ROI. Impressive. <laughs> Pero buhay siya. If I were you, I would have probably kicked the bucket Bitten the bullet, bitten the dust, lahat na. Kasi hindi siya biro-birong pera. Sa yeah. totoo lang. Okay, so tonight we're speaking to Miss Charlene Ormo. Uh, tonight we'll also be learning, ano ba yung pangapiraggagawa niya sa LinkedIn? Mm. We'll also be learning, ano ba yung uh, pinakagusto ko malaman ngayon is, bakit ang tindi ng drive mo? Okay? And to spill the beans na, It all started with a book na pinahiram sa kanya called The Cash Flow Quadrant. Take note, yeah. pinahiram sa kanya. Ilan taon ka nun, Charlene? 17 years old. 17 years old. Uh, nasa Bacolod ba kayo? Yeah, I was a student in La Consolacion at that time. Second year student. Question lang, what mm. do your parents do? They're, yung, they're small-time entrepreneurs, yung parents ko. They have their own small business, pero it is not really, it's something that's very local and they don't, they parang they didn't risk, risk too much because they had us. Anong business to? Um, over time, I witnessed them create businesses from, hindi pa ako napanganak, they have a floor wax business, they had parang um, homemade candies business, they had chicharon business, they have juice businesses, Parang over time, it changes over time. Hustlers. Hustlers. Yeah. Right. Okay, kaya naman pala. So tama yung ano ko. DNA, nasa dugo nyo na pala. Na magkakapatid. Pero, I don't really believe purely in DNA. Ang una kong tanong muna is, sa mga audience natin, is, naririnig nyo ba electric fan ko? Kasi sobrang init ngayon. Wala akong choice talaga kung di magsindir electric. Naririnig mo ba, Charlene? Hindi. I, I don't know sa kanila, pero hindi ko naririnig. Okay. Yun lang. Okay. Uh, sabi nila is one of my favorite books. My favorite book? Probably not really oh, the book that changed my... Yun talaga nagpasabog talaga sa... Yun talaga nagpaihi talaga sa kanila. Parang, holy cow, pwede pala to? Is yung hmm. kay MJ DeMarco na Fast Lane Millionaire. Parang ganon. Tapos... Nabasa ko naman sunod. At ah, tapos napapunta ako sa podcast ni 
smart passive income. Mm-hmm. Uh, napunta ako sa ano pa ba? Basta yun na yun. Basta, we all remember that one book. So please in, your, in the comments below, please tell us what was the one book na nagpaihi sa yun na parang nagpasabog talaga sa'yo na putik. Pwede palang mabuhay ng ganito. Yeah. Pero to be honest, it was not the first book that changed my life. It was just the first book that redirected me na sinabi ko sa sarili ko, oh, this is what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And what's that book? The first book? The first book is The Alchemist ni Paolo Coelho. You're familiar. Nabasa yung The Alchemist na yan, ha? I was Pero, 10 years old when I read that book. Mm, podcast na siya. Yeah, to Wait, just give you a preview. Yung, kung, yung Paolo Coelho? Yeah. To just give you a preview, why did it change my life? It was There was a line in that book, yung entire premise ng book, that says, if you want something, the universe will conspire to help you achieve it. And ever since I read that, I believe that. <laughs> I just being cool. I tried. I, I tried all that abundance thing. I uh-huh. tried all that law of attraction, the secret, uh-huh. chanting. Lahat yan pinagawa ko. Stand in front of the mirror, write uh-huh. all these things sa wall mo. Uh-huh. Edwa lang ng yare. Uh-huh. You know why? Why? Because I wasn't doing anything at all. I was just yeah. waiting for everything to fall into place. Yeah. And that, my friend, is the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sige, umpisa na agad natin. Anong ginagawa mo sa tribe? Bakit ka nandito? Well, why I'm in the tribe is it was only... I gave up freelancing a year ago when I stopped working for that affiliate uh, internet marketing guy. By the way, underground, not big time internet marketing guy. Siya, and he is connected to top inter- affiliate marketers in the world. So, uh, mm-hmm. so I stopped working for him and I had to stop. Parang, when I stopped working for him, tama ba? Nag- nag-start ba ako sa middle? Or do... Right, <laughs> or, Okay, so I was working for internet mar- marketing guy. Then after 10 months, I was so totally um, drained out, depressed, and everything. Then when I stopped working for him, I decided that I was totally depressed. So um, sabi ko, I had to stop whatever it is that I'm doing and just recollect myself. So for one year, I did everything else apart from touch on the online space. So... I, it was only this year that I came back when my brother convinced me to go back to freelancing. So I went back this April to freelancing. And then why am I in the tribe is because I've always been a fan of JPL ever since I discovered him. Because I said, he was one, he's one of the... Uh, knowing the marketing industry and having been exposed to the marketing industry for quite so long, is you know who's hyping you up. And who, 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 you know who's really genuine with their intentions by the way they write and they deliver their content. So sabi ko, what if, parang I've always been on the lookout kung kailan siya magpa-publish ng course. So that's why I'm in the tribe. Kasi I've always wanted to be mentored by JTR. Full year ka ba nag-enroll? Pagka-enroll mo, early muna. Full year. Full year. Uh-huh. Tapos kanina, pinag-uusapan natin na uh, most of your skills were learned through free courses and through experience, di ba? Yeah, well, I think to answer that question, I, they have, they, parang they kind of like need to understand my background, right? Because it's easy for, it's easy for me to say na, okay, you can just learn in free courses. But if I started learning from free courses fr- when I was 17 years old, I would have been totally lost. So um, I think it's, parang it it they, they just deserve some clarity as to what really what really is my background, how come na I just learned from free courses based on my course and blah blah blah. So um, do you want me to tell them? Hindi, ano, the, the reason I'm asking is, kasi una I was asking you why are you in the tribe. Second mm-hmm. question, of all 
internet marketing people, of all mentors that you could find, di ba? What uh-huh. made you decide to invest money dito naman? Kasi definitely, no doubt, smart ka naman. Ang daling mo uh-huh. mag-pick up, ang daling mo mapagtahi-tahi yung mga bagay-bagay ka from free courses. Uh-huh. Honestly, what I think talaga is with free courses, uh, well, ganito, it's all, it's, it's literally, the recipe is, lahat ng ingredients nandyan, online, nandyan na siya lahat, okay? Pero ang nawawala is the recipe. Yes. Yung ingredients, yun. So that's what you get. Yung recipe is what you get through your uh, paid courses, plus of course, community, plus of course, mm-hmm. access to the people, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, pero, nag-sign up ka dito kay JTL, so, bakit? Okay. One is, Yun nga, I wanted to learn from JTL. I wanted to kind of pick his brain as to I I mean ever for for how many years I've learned from foreign marketers, foreign mentors, foreign and there's a sense of parang parang there's a gap in us in in the relatability aspect of it and that was what I was looking for. Some sort of an inspiration that you can look up to. Na ay Filipino siya, right? And I'm Filipino too. And I may know a lot of things, but I have not achieved the level of success that he is achieving yet. And I've always believed in, if I wanted to take the shortcut, I have to surround myself with people who are 10 times more than what I currently am. So that's the first reason. Second reason is yung price niya is no-brainer. As, I've, as I was telling you a while ago, the last course that I purchased when I was doing affiliate marketing was a 25,000 peso monthly membership. And if is, is 10,000 for a year. And parang I know some may find it na ah, it's too, super expensive. But if you think about, if I just can just give them a preview of everything that I purchased online, is I purchased shit for the same price, if not more, if not four times more. And gotten parang kalinking lang, if not dot lang sa kalinking ng value na binibigyan ni JDL. So that's the second thing, the price. The third thing is, I, when you do this stuff and when you feel like you're just doing it alone, it feels lonely. And the third thing that I've always wanted to, uh, I always look for, or the, one of the primary things that I, I'm always looking for in enrolling in courses is the community and who am I surrounding myself with. So I think that alone, yung community alone, it's priceless. Eh. Yung, exactly. yung, mm-hmm. Yeah, of course, diba? <laughs> Grabe, napaka-narcissistic Okay, go So yun, those are the top three things Really, that convinced me to Pero nung nakita ko yung uh, JTL nung, na, nung nag-publish siya ng course Parang I, I didn't even I, Right now, I'm kind of like logically justifying my purchase Right? Pero when I just Saw him na Oh, he put up a course And then he's giving out this value It was just a no-brainer for me to sign up Even if he put it up for 40000 I would still buy it even if I didn't have the money, I would find the money to do so, to purchase it. Kasi it's a no-brainer. Ano na, mm-hmm. It's a no-brainer decision na, di ba? Na-build yeah. na yung... Pero, bakit wala ka sa spag? Nasa spag ka ba? Hindi ko alam na may spag. I, oh, how about FMM? Di ba rin alam na may FMM noon? Nasa FMM ako. Nasa I FMM? Don't... Wala ako sa FMM. Yung kuya ko ata yung nasa FMM. Siya yung ininerol ko at that time. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fine. Fine. Okay. So, yung sinasabi nila ngayon is, okay, baka naman kasi puro sa, baka this thing that they've entered, especially yung mm-hmm. mga new, is only for those people na sobrang magagaling na. Yung talagang mm-hmm. sobrang hasang-hasana. So, ano ba muna ang successes mo? Kasi ako, hindi ko na alam, naumay na ako sa mga success sa loob ng tribe. Ano bang wins mo? Alam ko yung LinkedIn. Okay, pero tell me. Monetary-wise kasi the only thing that I think of as a win uh-huh. is not parang yan, likes, comments, gano'n. The only thing that right. I think of as a win is something that I can take to Meralco and pay the bill. Right. Um, well, that's one way. That's the primary way of looking at it. If we're looking at it as to why we're doing what we're doing really, it's because of what money can give us. So financial wise is um, I cannot give you the numbers right now because I'm right now as of this moment I'm negotiating with somebody as to what is the exact rate. 
Um, but to give you a preview, just a very small preview of the deals I've been making is um, one of the biggest deals that I have right now is to create chatbot for this marketing agency who mainly deals with real estate, who mainly deals with the real estate in one state, in one, the entire state of in the United States. And the minimum price for a chatbot, minimum for one simple chatbot is 1,000 US dollars, 3,500 US dollars minimum. We can go up to 10,000 US dollars for or more, depending on the custom uh, parang functions of the of the bot. So monetary wise, I cannot give you exactly as to how much because I still have to receive the money. And we're negotiating the deal. So but we're not talking if it's a marketing agency, we're not talking about just one chatbot. We're not just talking about two chatbots every single month. And we're not just talking about five chatbots every single month. And on top of that, um, what I got out of LinkedIn is not just one marketing agency partnership. I have, to, uh, parang I already had, um, that's monetarily, big win monetarily. I still have to receive the money, but that's the projected amount. Just to give you a preview, because yeah. The other thing is um, I have to get on a call with another, I already got into another call with another marketing agency, which is totally different from the one I'm talking about. The other thing is tomorrow I will get into another call with another marketing agency, which is a totally different thing from the one I'm talking about too. And right. the other, yeah, and the other one is I just got off call with uh, a big brand, um, organic brand, na, in the Philippines and my branch did sila sa, sa US in which they wanted to get me as their Facebook ad and chatbot creator for and I still ha we still have to agree on prices which is projected amount is between um, minimum is 1,500 um, upfront minimum but mm -hmm. I don't think it's worth it personally na yung 1,5 because I have to do a lot of work so it may be more than one five plus a monthly retainer for a minimum contract of three months. Plus every single month or every single week, I, I, um, and this is not to brag actually, but this is just to let them see that I, in the first 60 days, I had one DC out of 1,200 unique people I talked to. Wait, wait, wait. Ulit, 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 ulit. You had how many? One to two DC. Actually, four, three canceled, one remaining. 60 days, consistently, 20 minimum. I was talking to 20 people minimum every single day, unique people, every single day for 60 days. And I had one DC. Bakit? Because what people underestimate is they, parang, I was... First is, when I learn a course, I don't learn it from the perspective of, oh, I know a lot of things. That's how I take it. I learn it from a perspective of, oh, I know nothing, then where do I start from here? So I literally, when I got into the program, Young Freelance Movement Tribe, everything that I knew in the past, I scratched it. Except for some technicalities. But mindset-wise, everything-wise, I scratched everything. And I always, because it's the fastest way you can learn when you're learning from a beginner's mindset, diba. Right? So I, I, I studied every, yung prospecting and everything. I connected with first people every single time. And yung first, parang, let me know if you want me to slow down because I can detail everything to you if you want me to. <laughs> Teka na, wawala ka. Or ako ba yung nawawala? Okay, sige lang, go. Kasi okay. sa end naman nila, tuloy sabi naman siya. So anyway, um, how I got started, to just give them a preview. Every single day since August, or before August 1st pa nga eh, I think it was July 31st, or July, May 31st, kasi July. If there is, then I start ako doon. 28th or 30, 29th, 30, mga ganun. I started connecting with 10 to 20 people every single day. Until I got to a point that I was connecting to 40 to 60 people. Until I got to a point that I connected to 100 people or more every single day. And that, until I got to a point in which I was talking to a minimum 20, minimum 20 people every single day. Minimum. So there, yes. So for there were days in which I was talking to 40 people. 
And when I say talk to people, I don't just mean not talk to people na the entire conversation. Parang you have to focus on the other person. No, I mean na I reach out to you and I tell you, hey Neil, a pleasure to connect. That's one conversation. Kasi people overthink it eh, di ba? They overthink it. So I just, parang I had so much insecurity and doubts and parang am I even good enough? What do I say next? What, how do I get them into a DC? How do I ask SMIQ? How do I do this? How do I do that? Blah, blah, blah. Even if I didn't even start yung first conversation. So I figured, sabi ko, what if, when I was working with the affiliate marketing guy, one of the things that I really picked up on is everything has only one objective. A sale, a landing page has just one objective. A sales page has just one objective. An email subject title has one objective. And the first sentence of the email has one objective. Like email title, objective, just to open the open the freaking message. Yes. First line, just to read the second line. Second line, just to read the third line. So I took that same perspective and applied it on how I conversed with people. Right? Mm-hmm. So, yes. sabi ko, yes. I don't have to overthink it. I don't even know if they'll reply back to me. So, first step, how did I broke it down? First step, okay, given na na-figure out nila yung skills nila and target market and all of those stuff na sa clarity lessons. Um, pro, uh, um, so, given that that is the case, first step, don't overthink it. Just what sinabi ko sa sarili ko. Don't overthink it. Just connect with people. I didn't send... But um, uh, this is, I'm speaking sa LinkedIn na, kasi yung Facebook has a totally different, different approach. It's more social. LinkedIn is more professional. So, yes, yes. what I did was I literally just added people, added people, added people. And I didn't even overthink it. Sabi ko, I just have to add people. I don't have to, kasi I, I got to a point first week. What I did was, okay, I checked the profile, I researched the company, I copied it in a parang spreadsheet. May spreadsheet ako na person's name, company name, email address, lahat-lahat. It took me two hours to get 10 prospects. And what oh. I figured out, oh, yeah, two hours to get one prospect. Like, to get, to get 10 list of prospects that I can add. Add pa lang yan, ha? Kasi kinakwalify ko na sila. Yun yung problem ko. I already was, I was already qualifying them sa first step. So sabi ko, how can I eliminate yung, yung drag ng time? Kasi what I realized was out of those people, only one people just add me back. Why waste time? Right? So what, I, so what I did was, when I realized that, when I realized that I literally didn't even, parang I just got yung LinkedIn profile, that's all. And I didn't even research their company name, their LinkedIn pro, their whatever. I just added them. And then Pero, when they... But what did you type in sa LinkedIn? Okay, so at that point, I decided na sabi ko yung target market. I was so clear na yung skill na i-apply ko is Facebook ads and chatbots. Okay. So, um, Facebook ads and chat, chatbots kasi I'm inclined towards chatbots. I love creating technical stuff. That's one. Facebook ads is I know that the chatbots is nothing without traffic to it. Simple, mm-hmm. simple analogy. So, um, that's one. So when I identified that, sabi ko, what is the target market na gusto kong impasukin? I initially wanted to get into the yung gym industry, kasi I had, I had, I purchased a chatbot template for gym in which na I already was developing and modifying para gamitin for my business. Si Andrew si Cruzian. Yes, Andrew Cruzian. May mga template siya, So. Yes. I purchased yes. it to, to give me an idea as to how he creates templates and I modeled it to my business and I said, okay, this is how I will create my template and, or whatever thing. Kaso nga lang, na-realize ko na I don't, even under, I don't even go to the gym. That's one. I don't understand the market. <laughs> so what I did was, I said, okay, I'm a hospitality management student. What, what are the things that I can understand? One is hotel. And the other one is restaurant. Hotel industry is a little bit difficult to penetrate because of the bureaucracy. And yung ag- Ay, kailangan yung pang agree ng ganito, ganyan, ganyan. So, what's the path to least resistance? So, sabi ko, okay, restaurant, kasi restaurant owner or restaurant manager. So, the very first thing that I searched was, when I identified my skill and my target market, 
or kahit na nga ng target market lang eh. When I identified those, I modified my LinkedIn profile. Yung, I mean, JTL teaches that. I help blah, 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 to blah, 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 through blah, blah, blah. Right? So, I, yung, my LinkedIn profile is not optimized right now. Why? Because I test everything every time. I change it every single time. That's the only difference maybe with me because I test how my market responds to me. I don't just stick with one. I test it until I find what which responds better for me. And the one that I have right now is the one that's working for me. It seems like a no-brainer because it's not super specific. Ito ang sabi so, niya, um, sabi niya, that brings in cash. Boom. Tapos. Yeah, kasi, yeah. Kasi that my my registered business is named that serve to impact marketing. That's why I had that tagline. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, go, go, go. So, what I did was when I identified my niche and my target, uh, parang my target market is I asked myself who is the major decision maker in this area. So, let's just focus on restaurants. The major decision maker in restaurants are two key persons. Restaurant manager or restaurant owner. Mm-hmm. So when you do, by the way, when you're doing LinkedIn, use the app and don't use yung yung um, desktop. Okay. Yeah, because the browser may limit yan, malalak up ka as to how many people you can add. I don't know about with you or with whoever is watching, but ako nalalak up ako. So I use the app. Because the app unlimited. Free by the way yung LinkedIn profile ko. Because may maraming nang kato ng takan. Premium ba yung LinkedIn mo? No, my LinkedIn profile is free. So, I use the I don't use yung LinkedIn helper although it helps. I I personally have not used it. Cuz um I don't know, it's just a pre- personal preference. So what I do is I search a search bar. Restaurant owner. Sabay hindi mo is a type restaurant owner, restaurant manager. Isa isa lang. Restaurant owner. I literally typed it under people I didn't type it under jobs because if you type it under jobs, you'd be you'd be going into a totally different direction. Type it under people and look filter the location. So I filtered United States. So if you do that, you will see that every single restaurant owner that's listed there is my connection. Up until the last page, I still keep on adding them until this day, even if I'm expanding my niche. I'll explain why later. Okay. So um. That's the first one. Um, uh, that's the first one. I identify them, I add them. First step, just freaking connect. Don't overthink it. Just freaking connect because you don't know anyway who will add you back. And to, to, give you an, to give you why I'm saying this, to give you the reason why I'm saying this is because the very first DC out of 1,200 people I talked to was the person in LinkedIn na walang profile picture. Na walang... <laughs> na walang company name. But he's a legit... restaurant owner. Yes. He's a legit restaurant owner. So, what I'm just saying is do not pre-qualify people when you're just connecting. Agree, 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 agree. Yeah, because I spent so much time on pre-qualifying people. That's why I'm saying that. The second thing is, when I... So, they connected back to me, Right? Still, magkikin yung self-doubt and parang insecurity na, oh my God, I, can I do this? Uh, how do I get them into a DC? How do I ask the SMIQ? Can I do it perfectly? What if I mess up? Blah, blah, blah. Diba? Yung mga thoughts na yun. Um, I had those thoughts and it freaking overwhelms me so much. So I got back into my analogy that is, okay, everything has only one objective. Every step of the process has only one objective. So, I figured out that when connecting has only one objective, that is to get them to add me back. That's all. Yeah. So that's why I optimized my LinkedIn profile. It's not even super optimized. It's just a basic optimization. Second, when they add me back, what's the next objective? Just to get them to talk to me. Just to freaking get them to talk to me. That's all. Not to close them, not to get them into a DC, not to do this, not to do that, just to get them to reply back. That's all. Eh, baka so, naman makonect ko, Charlene, mali. Sayang naman yung connections ko. 
Eh kasi naman Shirley, sayang naman yung baka naman kasi wala naman palang pera to. Sayang lang. Kaya hindi na lang magko-connect dito. Kailangan maayos ko muna. Malaman ko talaga yung perfect ko talagang industry. Yeah, that's exactly why why most people get stuck. It's because one, they're overthinking. What If we go back, one, they're overthinking their freaking target market. You don't even know what will work for you. Just freaking choose one. Second, si sayang. Second, diba? pag nasayang, ah, sabi nga ni JT, pag nasayang, ano, what will you lose? Diba? You're just, your time. That's all. Exactly. Mismo. So, so okay. that's what I, so that's what I did. Um, uh, to get them, so second step, just to get them to reply back to me, bahala na kung masayang, my, here's just the thing. And, I don't know if I'm ranting here or I'm just, I just wanted to share this though. Because here's just one thing that maybe differentiates people like JTL with the rest of the world. It's because he genuinely builds relationships, whether he gets something from that person or not. Because people don't do business with businesses. People do business with people. And that's one of the many reasons why I signed up under JTL's course is because I saw that in him. So... Sabi ko, what if, okay, kung masayang man, at least I've built one relationship. Whether this person is just my friend or this person is just my connection, I don't know. I don't know what will happen, right? And then, so masayang, eh, sayang, start again. Um, so the thing is, the next step was, um, how do I get them to reply back to me? I tried different approaches, a lot of approaches. One is, I even parang, hey Neil, then I picked out something sa, sa company mo that I will praise. Oh, nice restaurant name. Mga ganong pakulo. I tried that approach. And then I oh. also tried different approaches like, hey Neil, nice name or something like that. Or some some sort of, parang ju- my main objective again is just not to close them into DC, get them into DC, not to get them into whatever, just to get them to reply back to me. So I'll do whatever it takes to get them to reply back to me. And then I figured out that it was super easy to get them to reply back to me. Believe me, out of every every approach that I've tried, the most effective approach is just simply saying, sa LinkedIn, ha? not to Facebook, sa LinkedIn, is just saying, hey Neil, a pleasure to connect. Yun lang yun. Out of everything that I've tried, that's the one thing, or glad to connect. That's the one thing that got me so many responses. Bakit? Kasi may auto-response yung LinkedIn na choices na likewise, thank you, blah, blah, blah. So, ikiklik lang nila yun, likewise. Diba? Compared sa, palato lang ako, hey Neil, I'm curious, uh, nice restaurant name, I'm curious, what sparked your interest to, to name it that way? I got responses out of that, by the way. Okay. Pero, but the most effective by far is just saying, hey, Neil, go ahead to connect. Because they just click on it, likewise. Then, my goal then is how do I get them to continue the conversation with me? Not, again, not, still not. This is just one approach. Huh? There are different approaches. This is just one approach. This is how I got started. So, what I figured out was when I took that approach, I was not getting a DC, I was not getting this, I was not getting that, I was getting a lot of SMIQ, but then the greatest thing that I, I was getting was it built my confidence in talking to them. And it got me, parang it, I was talking to literally 140 unique people every single day, if not more, if not 200. How will not that build your confidence, diba? So, kasi that makes me, that makes me see, oh, okay, siya nagre-respond sa pleasure to connect. Ito nagre-respond sa SMIQ. Ito nagre-respond sa ganito ganyan. Right? That doing it consistently makes me see the pattern. And even though in the first 60 days, I didn't have any results to show for, I saw patterns. Okay. And, and that was the most important thing for me. So that's the first approach. The second approach is, which is parang... So after getting them in a conversation, I tried SMIQ. I tried getting them 
Oh, by the way, if you try SMIQ on LinkedIn, it will rarely get you into a DC. However, you will gather a lot of data from it. Pero magagamit mo yung lead magnet mo. You can just, oh, okay, this is just a survey question, blah, blah, blah. Diba? This is just a survey question. What is the single biggest challenge you're facing right now in your business? I just would love to know because I wanted to include it in the book that I'm blah, blah, blah doing. I personally have not done that, um, but I know people who have done that. Um, I forgot who. Kasi medyo makakalimutan din ako. But I know people, was, like April, diba? she's done that on Facebook. That's effect, an SMIQ effective pag my lead magnet. But if you don't have a lead magnet, it's not as effective. Why? I, I did it and I didn't have a lead magnet. That's why I was not getting a DC. So, um, How are you asking the SMIQ? Okay, so for example, I'll take you through a conversation. You, I add you, you add me back. I just say, hey, Neil, a pleasure to connect. You'll reply back with, likewise, di ba? Kasi mag-click ka lang. So, so sasabi ko, oh, thank you. By the way, can I ask you a question? Okay. 98% of the people, who will reply back? Kasi 50% lang around mag-reply. Pero 98 out of the 50% will reply back to you, yes, sure. I got no's, but then so what? I had like 12, 19 people to talk to. You get what I mean? So the reason why people are so frustrated is they're not connecting enough. That's one. Ouch. Shit. Suck it. I'm, yeah, I'm saying that out of love and care because I did that too. I was not connecting enough. And that frustrated me so much. Because if you're just connecting to five people every single day and three will reject you, you only have two left. But if you're connecting to 20 people every single day and five will reject you, you have 15 people left. So, um, what I did was, um, saan na ba ako? Na-lose track na ako. So, can I ask you a question? Okay, can I ask you a question? Then I ask the SMIQ. One thing about the SMIQ is, one of the one of the things that people are are, I did wrong with the SMIQ was one thing, top thing that I did wrong when I was go- starting asking the SMIQ was it's, it was too generic. Kasi mm-hmm. sabi ko, I was just asking, what is the single biggest, restaurant owner ah, balik tayo, restaurant owner. I was asking restaurant owner, what is the single biggest challenge that you're facing in your business right now? And I got the results that I didn't, wasn't looking for. Kasi dapat yung objective ng SMIQ is to get them into a DC or some sort na related to service mo, di ba? Yes. So, yes. I was, it, it, the question was too broad na yung answer na narinig ko palagi back is, oh, staffing. Staff is my like number one problem, which is totally true sa restaurant industry, right? So, I modified it and I modified it. Like, what is the single biggest challenge that you're facing in terms of marketing in, in your business right now? Then I got clearer results. So, the clearer that the clearer question, the clearer the question, the clearer the answers. So, I just modified and modified and modified it until I gathered enough data that I just stopped because I figured out a different way of what's working. And that is my second approach. So, um, so yun lang yung script. Like, hey Neil, um, can I ask you a, a, a pleasure to connect? Sasabi ka, likewise. Then I'll just say, thanks. By the way, can I ask you a question? Then I'll reply back, yes. If they'll reply back, no, then you just say, oh, uh, oh, thank you for taking your time. You just appreciate them genuinely and thank them genuinely for responding back to you. Just because you don't have any, they don't have anything to give you doesn't mean na eh, it, it, I have difficulty in speaking Tagalog. Um, so anyway, um, so I just genuinely thank those people who said no because they took time to respond back to me rather than no, no response, diba? Then yes, when, because yes. w- I, I have feedback, That's, feedback is great. No, even if it's no, it's feedback. So uh, when they responded with a yes, then I just tell, ask them, what's the single biggest challenge that you're facing in your business right now? And then I get them into a conversation and analyze what really is the thing that pains them. And then that's how I didn't get a DC. <laughs> that's how that, I did that, not get a DC. Yes, because when you get the problem, what you're supposed to do is take that problem, apply it to a lead magnet, and get back to them with so much value. I didn't do that. 
I didn't oh. really do it value. That's one of the things that I did wrong. So um, how I got BCs is because of the second approach that I tried, which is not an SMIQ. It's also one of the things that JTL is teaching. But uh, I got this from Dina. And I got help from one of my mentors, who is also named as John, to modify it. And then I applied JTL's teaching to it as well. Parang it was a combination of everything. It's a pitch. It's a value pitch. I call it my value pitch, which got me responses and which got me a lot of scene zone too. Scene zone, just scene zone. Um, oh, the pitch, yeah. It, pero this is way better than SMIQ because imagine I was asking SMIQ for 1,200 people. I only got one DC. But for this one, I just, gave, I just asked this for one person. I already got, I've already gotten one DC. So that's the difference. So um, what's the approach and what's the pitch? Basically, it's just a value um, value pitch. Yes. Which, like, for example, I deal with restaurants. Whoever is dealing with restaurants, you're in for a treat maybe or not. But then if you, de like, if you deal with restaurants or whatever establishment, you can find, sabi ka, Dina, di ba? Si Dina yung nagturo sa akin ito. Yelp, yellow pages, whatever, right? And for restaurants, nasa group on sila. Right? Group on. Okay. If you're if whoever is familiar with group on, marami dun, air, lodging, flooring, whatever, nandun, most especially restaurants. So what I did was I went into group on, I searched parang yung deals that I know I can advertise or I know that I can handle. Or restaurants na pasok sa alam kong, like for example, um, that I know I will not be wasting my time. That's just it. So at that point, I was kind of pre-qualifying them just to a minute degree. Na can this, parang, okay, how small is this restaurant? Baka naman five-person restaurant lang. Parang ganun lang. I just I'm wanted not. to, I just wanted to make sure na, okay, this person or this restaurant, just in case he's, she's interested or he's interested, they can afford my service. Parang ganun. So I was kind of pre-qualifying them at that point kasi I it, it, this approach takes longer, a bit longer compared to the first approach. So that's why I was pre-qualifying them. So when what I did was I copied the restaurant name, I pasted it on Google. I so for example, El Coracha restaurant. I'll just mm -hmm. copy that restaurant name. I'll paste it in Google. Then I type Facebook page. Right? I do Facebook advertising. So yes. I go into their Facebook page, info and ads screenshot it and then i message them this line or these lines the fun the fun i mean don't just copy and paste these lines because if you just copy and paste templates you'll get nowhere you have to make sure that you modify it all the time test it we're marketers here we're all marketers no matter what you're doing we're all marketing ourselves right so you have to test it all the time that's maybe one of the things that um ac just accelerated the speed ng uh, whatever, connection ko, or whatever. But I always test things. So the fundamental of this pitch are three major key points. One, why are you reaching to them? The first part of the pitch. Second, what's the value that you can offer to them? And third part of the pitch, which is the last part, is why should they reach back to you? And it's that is the Sorry. Is it an email ba? Is it a message that you send out? It's a message. I have not tried cold emailing pa. Okay. It's just so a simple I, message. Balik yes. din sa LinkedIn. Yes. Okay. I do that both in in their Facebook. I either send that in their Facebook page or in their uh -huh. LinkedIn account. So, um, so how does this pitch go? Um, yes. Basically, it's just... Um, it's something like, diba, why am I reaching out to you? Oh, I saw, oh, by the way, I love your brand, syempre. Pipili ka naman ng brand na gusto mo, hindi lang bubulahin mo lang, diba? So, oh, by the way, I love your brand. I love your brand, JT Alien. Kinopy ko lang yun. So, I love your brand. Oh, I saw you advertising on Group One. That's the reason why I'm reaching out to them. I saw you advertising on Group One and checked your Facebook page, and I happened to see that you're not running ads. That's 
I'm giving them the reason why I'm reaching out to them. What's what's my intention of reaching out to them? I I just thought I'd let you know because people or your competition is actually doing that, and I'm curious why you're not doing it. Mm-hmm. So that's I'm telling them why I'm reaching out to them. Second, what's the value? Did you know value pertaining to your service? So my service is Facebook ads, and simply they're not yet familiar with chatbot. So I have first have to pitch Facebook ads. Did you know that, or make it as simple as you can that even an ordinary person can understand it? Because if you if you say, did you know that a chatbot can accelerate your business whatsoever? They will not get it. Exactly. Right? So <clears throat> make it as simple as you can that even an ordinary person can understand it. So I just say it as, did you know? that by running, let's say, Facebook ads or advertising in this platform will help you distribute the same exact coupons on Groupon to this audience or, or something like that. But will give will will help you distribute the same exact coupons you're already using on Groupon and even remind those free people to use them. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. So that part is more of parang Parang a question that will give them an aha moment. Diba? Yeah. Did you know that blah, 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 ilista mo yung benefits ng service mo, pero wag mong i-over. Parang one to two lang. One to two benefits lang. Then, yung term mo lang na ginagamit nga, yung did you know that, diba? Trivia lagi siya. Parang, uy, parang may gap. Gusto yeah. malaman niya. Yeah. So, that's, I already caught their attention with regards to that. Then, the last thing is why should, this is the most important part. Why should they reach back out to you? That is the question. So I just literally tell them, I have one to two, actually, I have one to two other points that I want, or one to three other points that I wanted to share with you. However, I don't want to completely overwhelm you with this message. So if you want, voila. If you want to, we can get on a short five minute call. I have nothing to sell you, just pure value. And when I get, I, well, my my palpak din ako sa part na to, but I'll tell you that later. But that's the pitch. You tell them why you're reaching out to them. Oh, I saw you in group one and just wanted you to know that you can actually, uh, you're not running this. I'm quite curious why that is because your competition is running the same thing and they're crushing it or whatsoever. Then give them a value. Did you know that? Then third is, I have one to two other points, but I don't want to overwhelm you. So what if we go in a short five-minute call and I just have something to share you for free and will not charge you anything for it? And by the way, no pressure to sign up. This is just pure value that I wanted to give. Yes. That's it. The first time I applied that, I immediately got one DC and it blew my mind. Because I said, wow, the first approach, I, it took me 1,200 people. One DC. This approach, one person, <laughs> one DC. Ulit natin na para sa mga mahilig na yung kanina 1000 connections got you 1 DC Tama So yes. technically that's a ano ba yon that's a 0.1% kasi it's not even 1% Oh it's diba? not even 1% yeah Oo uh, not even diba This one naman you reached out to 1 you got 1 Yes I got 1 Kasi I did that on my... only was to get on a DC, diba? Yes. Yun lang naman. Yes. And just to give you parang the difference, don't assume that the moment you use this, you'll immediately get one DC. I just wanted to be clear about that. I got one DC because I did that on LinkedIn and I did that with knowing my... Parang knowing the skill that I wanted to offer and know, knowing the service that I wanted to offer and knowing my target market. I also did that on Facebook pages and I got a lot of scene zones. Scene zones. Mas marami sa Facebook page. Okay. Sa LinkedIn, yeah. sumasagot. Sumasagot kasi owner talaga yung kausap mo. Eh. Sa Facebook yeah. pages, they can be social media managers, they can be whoever. Yes. Yeah, but still... You don't know. My, I'm just speaking on behalf of my target market. What if your target market is our life coaches? Life coaches, sumasagot yun sa Facebook pages. Yes. So uh, you have to understand. Here's just the thing. 
you may look at it, yun nga yung sinabi mo kanina, di ba? What are your wins? If you look at it from the first 60 days, I had nothing to show for. If you look at it from an external point of view, but I have all data to back me up as to what's the behavior of my target market. How do they, when do they respond back? How do they respond back? How do I talk to them? How do I connect with them? For me, that's a win. Why? That's a foundation for future wins. Exactly. And that's what that's what people neglect because they're just looking after of the quick deal, quick cash, quick whatever. Yes. And you, also, if you... To right. Kanina, sabi ko, uh, the way I measure wins is what I can bring to Meralco and pay the bills, right? Pero the real ano don, answer is not that I'm taking it back. Correct. I'm saying money is still money, di ba? Pero what I'm saying is that may precursor doon. Yes. Lahat ng mga actions, yun yung resulta ngayon. If you have more money to bring to Malco to pay the bills and some extra left pa, di ba? Yun yung results noon. Kung baga, yeah. yung conversion will only follow if you have a lot of leads that you put in. If yeah. you have a lot of connections, that's the only time you will have a lot of leads. Diba? Yeah. So, sige, go ahead, continue. So, I do agree with you on that. Now, ultimately, our future win is, I can, we can, we have money to show for, ultimately. Pero, I just wanted to emphasize on, just because we, that is our ultimate, like for other people, I know we both understand each other, and yung point of view natin is similar. I just wanted to emphasize on whoever is listening that the people that you see are winning in the tribe, those who are winning in the tribe, it didn't take them overnight to do it. It didn't take them just one month to do it. It didn't take... <laughs> overnight kami lahat. Right? We just sent one message and boom, $3,500 in my lap. Wow, easy money. Right? Because yung I mean I've talked to a lot of people and they're saying na ah oh, okay I'm stuck or what whatsoever or I parang I feel like a, some sort of degree of jealousy na others are winning and I can't understand why am I not winning yun yung sinasabi ng iba and I just want you to understand that every single person for me everything that I learn right now is not just a product of what I learned in the past two months it's a product of what I have learned experienced and up taken action upon in the past five years of my life. So I'm not saying that it should take you five years. That's why JPL is here, right? I'm yes. just saying, I'm just saying that in in every, look at you take no don't just look at yourself as a service provider. Look at yourself or but put yourself on the shoe of you are a business owner right now and every single business needs a foundation to grow. But I know traditional businesses, it takes them three to five years to even break even, right? Why? Because they understand the foundation. In the first three years, my foundation silang put up. They have to lose something in order to gain something back. This is, the, this is the greatest advantage of freelancing. We don't have to take three to five years. We don't even have to take one year. We just have to take that maybe first 30 days to just apply, connect, 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 connect with people and, no, and see no results. But after 30 days, like after 60 days, day six, first 60 days, I had one DC. 61 to 70 days, I had eight DCs. So it's. Ule? Ule? First, first Sa mga hindi si yeah. First 60 first, days, eight, eight or more na. Eh. First 60 days, I had one DC. And I got to a point in which I was questioning myself, what am I doing wrong, what I'm doing this, but I just kept on doing it despite of not seeing the results yet because I know I'm going somewhere. I know that if I just continually do this, this is just a proper foundation because I was not just analyzing it from the point of view of, ay, nagka-DC ba ako? Or nagka, may sumagot na sa SMIC ko? But I was analyzing it from the point of view of, can, does this lead me to understand more about my target market? Yes. So, when I, what happened after 60th and 61st to 70, 70th day, I didn't get DCs from restaurant owner. The first DC was a restaurant owner, but 61st to 70th day, it was, there were not restaurant owners. So to those who are doubting the niche that they are in right now, that's why I'm saying don't overthink it. Just, just pick one target market. 
is because in the process, it will be clarified to you. Because your goal is not to pick a perfect niche. It's to create money in the first place, right? So irregardless of the niche, you're, that you have to focus on, on the ultimate goal while also enjoying the process. Tama. Right? Tama. So, um, so that's like 61st to 70th day, I had eight DCs with marketing agency owners. With CEO of parang al pinakita ko pa nga kay Dina to eh. um, CEO of uh, parang uh, smart saving device, uh, CEO of parang chocolate company, all different niches. I accepted every single one of them, not because I wanted to close them, but because I wanted to see if I if we are a right fit to work with each other. So if you if you begin to parang see the common theme in the reason why i'm posting yung mga conversations ko sa linkedin is because i wanted the people the the, uh, the tribe uh, other tribe members to see and yung pattern diba and the pattern is not hey i'm the perfect person for you i don't say that i always get i never I, i'll probably refuse dc soon because my calendar is is almost booked but then um I'm not approaching it. Even if I know I can help them, I'm not approaching it from the point of view of, parang, hey, parang, diba, ikaw, uh, this is the third approach, which is in relation to what I'm saying. If you add me on LinkedIn, this is where I got 90% of my DCs. From, not from people I connected to, but from the people who added me. Okay. Which is surprising. Uh uh-uh. Go ahead. Diba? So I as I connect with people, I am exposed to more people because LinkedIn and Facebook works on an algorithm of ima match yung with their connections than yes. my suggested connection. Yes. Because I had a lot of people in my network, they in in the same niche, diba? That's why I still keep on adding restaurant owners, kahit hindi ka sila niche. Why they're expanding my network? So 36 people na restaurant owners ka connection niya yung CEO ng isang marketing agency company let's say that marketing agency company na oh you have 36 connections to me I'll add you connect when they connect with me I simply get back to them saying by the way please modify this cuz um and see what works for you kasi if other people are just copying and pasting it although it's effective it will not be effective for so long if it becomes saturated so I suggest that you modify it based on how you find it. Na yung perfect approach ayo. I'm saying it in general. So um, when they connect to me, na sila yung nag-add, I add them back and I, I tell them, or or ikaw, ikaw new for example, I you added me back, uh, you added me and I add you back and I just tell you, hey Neil, glad to connect. I'm curious, what sparked your interest to have me in your connection? 90% out of all the DCs that I have until this day is because of that one question. Boom. 90%. I'm curious what made you want to connect with me. Ganun lang kasimple. Pwedeng ganun lang kasimple. Yes. I do that on Facebook and I do that on LinkedIn. Pero hindi, syempre, kung katry mo, hindi, um, bakit mo tatanungin ng ganun? Pero I do that particularly on LinkedIn, and they always reply back to me, na, oh, okay, na, I just wanted to expand my network. Oh, okay, um, I saw that you have this skill and that skill. Maybe I need it in the future. And when they, when I see na, okay, they may need something from me, which is every single day, I at least get one message saying that, oh, I, parang yung team is, oh, I need you in my, uh, for my business. Every single day, at least one message. That's why my calendar is so full with VCs. Um, so, uh, when I get that, I don't tell them, okay, let's hop on a call or blah, blah, blah. I phrase it into a question saying, would you like to have, uh, would you like to hop on a call with me to see, or to, ha- so I can have a clear understanding of, uh, of your business and to see if we're a perfect fit to work with each other. Yes. I don't tell them, oh, hey, I'm the perfect person for you. Why? Because that will create so much resistance in the process, in the future. 
But if I just tell them, oh, I just wanted to see if we're even perfect to work with each other, I can easily decline them as a client, as, as a prospect during the call. Removing resistance. Yun talaga yun, di ba? <clears throat> and re what you're doing with removing resistance is just the same parang kanina when uh, a pleasure to connect, glad to connect. Uh -huh. di ba? Wala siyang gagawin, kundi magtatap lang siya ng button. Likewise. Uh -huh. Di ganon. Tinatanggal mo talaga yung, yung resistance. Kung baga lahat, nilalagyan mo ng pampadulas para magtuloy-tuloy lang. Yes. Yun lang yun. Yun okay. lang yan. And then the DCs that I get are not from restaurant owners. They're from CEOs of, of this parang beauty company. CEOs of parang uh, CEO siya ng speaking company. CEO ng ganitong company, ganitong family company. I don't refuse them. Why? My goal is not to perfect my target market. My goal is to create cash. And to even, before I create cash, is to, to first understand if I'm the perfect person for that person. Not that I'll push, just because I don't approach it from the point of view of I need money. I don't. Because if you approach it from that over the years, that's what I learned. If there's, a, if there's something that I learned from the biggest failure that I've had, it's to let go of the need of money. Because if you just, parang, yeah, you need that. I know you need that. We all need that. But for a moment, just take that, shelf that, and focus on what is important right now. That is, this person has, you have to understand that this person needs your service. And not that you need him, but he needs your service. And you have to understand if you're even the right person to deliver that service. Because if you insist that, yeah, because if you insist that you're the perfect person, then good luck to you. You'd be accepting a lot of clients which are parang tire kickers and they're very cheap clients. And it's okay as a start, as a confidence builder. But then in the long run, it will hurt you more than you can benefit from it. I agree again. I agree yeah. again. And I think Yeah. Na na Ay, wala. Gusto niyo to ng pera. Right. And I, I don't even know. Like, I have never dealt with marketing agencies before. Na nag white listing ako ng service. What I do, I, I tried. Um, this is an important point, by the way. Follow what JBL is saying. Because I tried to deviate, deviate once. Once. And I, became, I was totally frustrated. So, I once had a call. Diba? I used that script. Yung value something script na shinare ko. I used that. I got the very first DC I've ever had. Di ba sinabi ko, I have one to two, point to two points to share with you. Yun yung sinabi ko, di ba? So when the client agreed, sabi ko, what the heck? What will I share? Parang, di ba? Walo ka ka. So what will you do? Um, I do that for every single time. I, I, I did it. I, I do a particular thing every single time. But for that first thing, what I did was, sabi ko, okay, let me just actually share. Kasi sabi ko, five-minute call lang eh. Di ba, nag-agree siya, five-minute call. And we even set up an appointment for that, quote-unquote, five-minute call. Here's one thing that you have to understand. If they agreed with you for a five-minute call, and they set an appointment for you, not even for today. Kasi kung five-minute call na instant, understandable, that's five minutes, right? Kasi that's urgent. But if yes. they agreed with you to set an appointment, let's say, okay, let's do that five-minute call or that call on tomorrow, 10 p.m., let's say. They don't just mean five minutes. They took that time out of their day to schedule a call with you, not just to talk to you for five freaking minutes. That's what you have to understand. Kaso nga lang, you just have to say five minutes to eliminate the resistance or short call or whatever. So, so parang hindi kaya kainin yung buong araw ko. Ah, uh -uh, yan. So, so what I did was, ako naman sobrang literal ko eh. So sabi ko, okay, five minutes. So sa five minutes na ito, I'll provide as much value as I can for that person. Ibubombahin ko siya ng value kasi baka makalayan ko siya. Yun yung ginawa ko. So I bombed that person with so much value and that person ended up to be so confused with everything. Siyempre <laughs> kasi sobrang dami ng value bombs. Yeah. So kasi sabi ko, I went to two other points, ganito ganyan, here's how it can help your business. The truth is they don't, care about how it works 
they care about how you can help them. That's why they got on a call with you. So, ay, nag-freeze ka na yun. Ako ba yung freeze or ikaw? Oy, yan. Okay. They don't, ano ulit? Kasi nawawala. Okay. They don't care about, they don't care about what, whatever that thing is. They don't care yeah. about, okay, how cool a chatbot is. They don't care about that. They don't care about how cool Facebook ads is. They care about how you can help them. You. Because they got on a call with you, not with a chatbot, not with a Facebook ad, a Facebook. They got on a call with you. They care more about that. So, um, when I realized that, parang it was already in the middle of the call. Nasabi ko, do you want me to send this to you? And then probably we can set a different appointment. It was ar- ar- around five, fifth minute na. Fifth, fifth minute ng call. I wanted to end it so badly because I screwed up so badly. Um, then... Sabi ko, do you want me to send it to you? And then we can probably hop on a call, on a different call. Uh, then I can evaluate whether we're fit to work with each other. Right? Mm-hmm. Yun yung dapat yung first na ginawa ko eh. But then I, I realized it later na. So when I, sabi niya, yung re- na- reply back ng kausap ko, sabi niya, well, um, can you even let me know first? Why would I, parang, why would I spend, parang, can you even let me know if I'm not just wasting my time here? Oh. Yun. Okay. Then I realized, ko, like, holy shit, why did I even get into um, parang di- giving the value bombs first before doing the DC? So what I'm just saying is, even if you said, I have one to two other points to share with you, is you still conduct the DC. Why? Because the questions that you're going to ask them will actually give them so much clarity in their business that after their after the call, they'll even thank you, even if you decline them. I've so far declined four minimum of four people already. And yeah, I'm not saying that to brag again. I'm just saying now again, my objective is not to close them every single time. It's to understand whether we're fit to work with each other. And we're not just fit to work with each other. Agree. Yeah. So yun yung like uh, with LinkedIn and uh, with like for example, if you really wanted to give them value, do it after the DC or in the middle of the DC. Insert, inject small values, but don't overload them because they don't care about that. They care about how you can help them. Hindi naman to audition. Parang mm-hmm. ganun lang sinasab. Ang point talaga nito is. Pinaka base pa rin is you're building a connection. Diba? Right. You're building a relationship. Right? The point of the call is it's a discovery call and for them to get clarity. Pero yeah. not to the point that trying to give away everything by like, ako, ah, ganito, ganyan, 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 ganyan. Na parang ito dapat gawin. Ah! Oh! Ano ba? Diba? Okay. Yeah. So, um, and, Sige, go ahead. Um, and the other thing is just that, diba may secret file tayo? Yung pricing hmm? voodoo. Yung pricing voodoo secret file. Okay. Um, I just wanted to inject on that because I use that a lot of times already right now. And had I known that before, I would have already spent, uh, I would have saved a lot of time. Because I suggest everybody should use that script. Why? Don't you, you don't parang even just ask them what is your budget? Even just that question already pre-qualifies the people whom you want. That's that makes you see sino ba talaga or yung kinakausap mo ba has the budget or is just looking. Or because I once prepared a very intensive proposal for somebody. It took me four hours to create that proposal or more. And then that guy mm-hmm. ended up to be the person who cannot afford my services, right? Had I asked that question up front, now what is your budget? I would have saved four hours of my time. One thing that na, I na to do sa tanong na yun is what's your budget? Mm-hmm. It's you asking first 
putting them in the position na, okay, I have to either apply, I have to get to afford this person. Na right. Parang just the fact that you're asking makes you the authority again. But budget like, what's your budget? Right. Ganun. Yeah. And I got off call with, parang last Friday, I got off call with a CEO. Parang it was my first time to get on call in which natatlo yung kausap ko. And then I, the call was, Sir, uh, if you're so, if you're so parang scared with those kind of stuff, just, I'm, just use JTL's process. That's all I can say. Just get them, uh, parang just, you, just ask them questions. Because, the the moment they didn't even ask for my credibility they just asked oh who, are, who have you worked with in the past or blah 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 so i just mentioned okay i worked with the mga prospects ko yung mention ko yung iba pero i stated the truth um anyway um and then when i asked them oh by the way what's your budget with regards to this like then they said oh, okay um how much they asked me back typically when i ask this question they ask me back what is your price point or uh how like how much are your services or something like that and then i get them back i get back to them saying i just first wanted to understand uh, yung, like what really is the budget you have in mind i know you don't have a clear budget but i i just wanted to know parang uh, uh, a figure in which we can probably work on then that uh, that uh, they got back to me saying na okay we have parang we have one to uh, we have this budget, but then I'm not sure what can you suggest. Yun yung sinabi niya. It's Facebook ads palang to, ay, hindi pa price ng services ko. So I said to them, na, to be honest with you, if you really wanted to hit this goal, you have to have at least $1,000 to $200,000 minimum for the testing phase. Okay. Uh, then, di ba na, for the testing phase. And then sabi niya, okay, then that's the time I knew na, oh, okay, this prospect is serious, right? They can spend oh. one thousand to two hundred two thousand dollars for ads. Yes, I agree. In short, they would be willing to spend either the same amount or more for my services. Agree. So, I I asked them again. So we go. How about for this particular service? How much is the budget that you have in mind? And then they just got back to me saying, "We actually have not dealt with this in the past. This is our first time doing this. So whatever is the budget that you have, you can present it to us, and we can probably discuss it." But then I Boom. already know one thing. One, they're so hungry that they're willing to spend that amount. Filipino to, ah. I'm not, not, this is not a U.S. company. This is a Filipino company. Okay. So that's 50 to 100,000 pesos per month. Add budget. Add budget. Add yeah. budget. No. So in short, they'd be willing to spend minimum 100,000 for me. And they understand. Okay. Yeah. They understand potential yes so if i use that same question to a person na i once uh interviewed or interviewed got into a dc who wanted to work with me and then i figured out na i okay ganito lang pala yung budget niya 500 us dollars i could have easily told him i'm so sorry but i can only work with a budget of 1000 to blah 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 upwards because that 500 dollars alone is a testing parang testing budget for just ads Mm -hmm. So, parang sa call pa lang, may clarity na. And sa call pa lang, you can already decline those people whom you know sakit lang sa ulo para sa'yo. Tama. Kasi, I, I, I was just so frustrated that I spent four hours crafting a very, parang very super crazy proposal for him. Exactly. Yeah. And he ended up to be not a uh, person not affording my service. And I used the same pricing voodoo script sa person like i'm working with a marketing agency right now i have again i have yet to we have yet to renegotiate on the price because 1000 us dollars is too small for that that that's the reason why we're renegotiating on the price because 1000 us dollars is too small for that what he's asking me to create so that's why um and then i uh, what i did with him is the marketing agencies chat so, the yes. question ko naman, again, is how do I freaking talk to them? Kasi marketing agency sila, meaning, meaning ako, marketing agency client. Yes. yes. 
So, parang middleman siya. So, how do I talk to, talk to them? I literally just use the DC script. That's all. Plus, the pricing voodoo script, which is, what's your budget? And then they ask me, um, what is your rate? Then I told, I lit, yung pricing voodoo di my script na, um, well, my clients can be categorized in three buckets. 1,500 US dollars, 7,500 US, ginasa ko yun. <laughs> and then I paused. And 22,500 US dollars. And then I stopped saying, of course, I cannot charge you 22,500 US dollars for this one. However, I would be willing to create a different price point for you. Okay. But then Again, that is... Like, you resistance. Yes. Um, what happened there was, um, I'll just differentiate with you. I talked okay. to a marketing agency owner na hindi ko ginamit yung pricing voodoo script. And they thought okay. so, I was not able to close that price uh, agency owner. Why? I was not so sure of my price. And my price, and yung price lang na, sa, diba, dapat, yung iba kasi nang iisip na, oh, I have to, to lower down my price in order for them to do business with me. I lowered my price down so much na sinabi ko lang na, okay, um, sa first to, sa first, without pricing voodoo script, DC lang. And when we got to a point of conversing, now, okay, what's your price point? Sabi ko, um, to be honest, kasi I'm, when I talk to people, I just be, I, I'll ju- I'm just really genuine with people when I talk to them. I don't create lies or whatsoever. So I just tell them, to be honest, yun yung first na marketing agency na kinausap po. To be honest, this is my first time doing this. So what I can do for you is instead of charging you my regular price point, is I can just give, like, create bots for you, simple chat bots for you for 500 to 1,500 US dollars. That guy never called me back. Oh. Why? Because people will think, oh, okay, um, dapat ch- super cheap ka, diba? Why? It lowered down. It lowered down my um, expertise so much because I was only charging too low. The guy whom I used the pricing voodoo script, my, my ano nga, perceived value shot up so high that he got into two following like two follow up calls with me already and he's the guy I'm renegotiating right now with the prices see 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 parang sa akin ano lang diba to sum it up lang ha uh, guys just to give everyone a preview ha? we might be doing well i'm asking permission ngayon kay Charlene that we're doing a part 2 for this one is my internet's kind of messing up pero i want to digest kasi ang dami na nating naputunan dito sa linkedin you can do uh you can get on so many connections walang walang limit using your phone second mm-hmm. is uh the one strategy the two strategies were in she got one dc out of a thousand dcs uh, a thousand na connections. Yeah. Out, more than a thousand connections. Versus one DC out of one connection. Anong ginawa? What if ganito ang gawin natin for this particular call? Uh, let's all work on this na tinuro sa atin ni Charlene. Diba? Let's just do a challenge. Diba? Let's just do a challenge na Lahat tayo, if we can just do like, I don't care kung anong tribe ka, di ba? Kung taga-packet ka, well, well and good, di ba? Sobrang happy ako. <laughs> what if we can do something na uh, gawin natin kung ano yung ginawa mismo ni Shardin? If kailangan natin panoorin yung replay na to, sige, panoorin natin yung recording. Uh, hint, pwede mong balikan siguro kahit nasa half nung call na to para ma- ma-pick up mo yung sinasabi na yon and then come up with our own wins para ang nangyayari dito is we are while we're watching diba while we're listening to the interview is we also can understand na okay kasi yung journey is fresh na fresh nandun tayo mismo sa loob ng journey mm. para sa akin kasi ang alam mo mangyayari lang dito after this call everyone's really hyped up okay game 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 and then, tanan, 
parang ginawa natin kay Donna, parang ginawa natin kay April, parang ginawa natin kay Tina. Sino pa bang ano natin? Call natin kay Kat Salonga, 'di ba? Mm-hmm. Lahat tayo hype, 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 'di ba? Pero parang mm-hmm. okay, afternoon parang wala. Okay, I know we have someone else scheduled for the next call, pero mm-hmm. we can do something na on an earlier time slot siguro para sa akin. Pero again, ang gusto ko lang ulitin natin is ganito. Uh, Charlene, ano ulit ang step by step by step? Para lang simpleng simple. Or, i-correct mo lang ako. Mm-hmm. So, punta ka ng Groupon. Halimbawa, may mm-hmm. napili kang niche, di ba? Mm-hmm. Punta ka ng Groupon, tingnan mo yung mga restaurant owners doon. Pero, for for the love of God naman, wag naman puro restaurant owners lang, di ba? O si mm-hmm. Bea pa pala, okay. Uh, for the love of God. Huwag naman puro restaurant owners kasi parang mo tayong engot na na parang nag-aagawan lang tayo dito. The world okay. is full of people. Diba? So, punta ko kung ano man deal sites, di ba? Tapos mm-hmm. tingnan mo doon, okay? Sino doon? Tapos tingnan mo Facebook page nila. Tapos after nun, titingnan mo yung information, eh, info and ads, di ba? If mm-hmm. wala silang ads, you can send them na a value pitch. Tama ba ako? Yeah. Yun yung yeah. it's a value pitch. Um, okay. I can, sorry. Yes. There's also a variation with regard to that. What if, what if wala sa group one yung clients mo, di ba? What if nasa LinkedIn lang? Or what if nasa Facebook lang? Eddie, mm-hmm. go to wherever they are and then, like for example, LinkedIn, you don't know if they even have group one deals. What I do is I go, I, every time they add me, I go into their profile, I check their parang experience, yung company name. I check that company name kung my Facebook page sila. And then kung walang like info and ads, kung wala silang info and ads, screenshot it and send it via LinkedIn immediately sa owner mismo. So um, that's one. And I'm not saying na info and ads lang. Like for example, if you're doing social media, then audit it based on how you will audit a social media a social media platform or whatever. Whatever is your service, that's the value na ipipitch mo sa kanila. Na did you know that? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yun lang. Did you know that? You could reach a lot more blah, 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 blah a lot more uh, specific target audience based on bawa, their birthday. Bawa, oh, we have a birthday deal for everyone who loves tacos this mm-hmm. Tuesday night. Tipo ganun, di ba? Ako, yun yeah. lang naisip ko. Very, ano pa ako sa Facebook ads. Pero, tapos, uh, what happens next is all you want is to get a connection with them sa LinkedIn. Tama ba? Bale, kon- uh, okay, there are Three different approaches. I'll summarize it. Okay, sige, the please. Foundation of every single approach before we even get to approach is rule number one. Do not overthink the process. Exacto. That's all. Rule number two, follow rule number one. Do not overthink Perfect. the process. So, one, if you're starting out like super brand new, you don't have confidence, you don't have, you question yourself, am I good enough? Am I doing it? Am I blah, 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 blah. Do not send do not even send the value pitch. Just freaking connect to them. And then when they connect back to you, just tell them, hey, a pleasure to connect. When they say likewise, you just say, Can I oh, oh thank you? Can, by the way, can I ask you a question? Do SMIQ. Just to mm-hmm. gather data, make it a confidence builder. If you're super brand new, do that. Even if you don't have a lead magnet, your your just main objective is just to overcome that sense of am I good enough? That's all. If you're ready to pitch them already, do the second approach, value-based yeah. approach, which is na what you do is answer three questions. Why are you reaching out to them? What's the value that you can give them? And why, why should they reach back? Or in the, what's the value you can give them in relation to your services? Pero hindi ka nagpe-pitch na, I can do this for you. You just say, did you know that Facebook ads can actually help you deliver the same coupons and remind your customers to use them that's all then remind and then why should they reach back to you i have I, actually i have two other points to share with you however i don't want to overwhelm you with this message so how about we get on a quick call i have nothing to sell you just wanted to share this with you something that you can implement right away in your business that's the mm-hmm. second approach and the third approach is this is effective so far i have not um uh, linkedin facebook not so much because more on social connection in your facebook is LinkedIn, 
when they add you back, hindi naman ikaw yung nag-add, when they add you pala, when they add you, you just message them, hey, a pleasure to connect, or glad to connect, or delighted to connect, or whatever to connect. I'm curious what sparked your interest to add me into your network. Again, 90% of my DCs come from that question alone. 90, 90 of my DCs come from that question alone on LinkedIn. In Facebook, mga meron ata, pero um, mga one to two lang siguro. Pero on LinkedIn, that question, 90%. Up until this day, I still get DCs from that question. So I'm saying, do not just follow, the, use the template, but then modify it based on your personality as well. Because you won't just go anywhere without without modifying it, without testing it. Always test. Exactly. Modify. Ayon sa panlasa mo, konti pa sa asin, kulang ba di ba? Again, this... The world we're in right now is not kind to copy and paste mentality. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero it has so much reward for people who are thinkers and doers. Pero mm-hmm. if you are just parang run of the mill, the normal nine to five person na ocho derecho, ito lang ginagawin ko, nakatapaho ako, ito lang gagawin ko, uh, wala mangyayari sa'yo. Mm-hmm. So, again, the challenge here is this. Let's do what Charlene has shared with us. If we can do a hybrid of hybrids, yung mga natutunan natin kina uh, Bea, Kat, Dina, uh, Donna, April, di ba? If we can even do a hybrid of that, sige. So, the point yeah. of the part two is this. If we could get at least 50, di ba? 50 people pitching in, di ba? Uh, sharing lang their unique wins, it has to be through LinkedIn. Yun yun. It has to be through LinkedIn. Uh, kasi kung yun ang sinasabi na where the people are, where the business owners are, uh, where the entrepreneurs are, sige, let's go ahead and do that. Just to prove ourselves and to Charlie na, okay, to, gumagana ba talaga to? Hindi. Baka naman, just yeah. for interview yeah. sake lang ito, di ba? Madami naman ganun. Pwede to. And, and for, um, yes, and for anyone and, who's going to be watching this outside the tribe, uh, feel free. Pero the point lang is this. Take action and do not overthink. Yes, before we go away, you were about to say something. Yeah, and the thing is, that's not yet everything on LinkedIn. It's not yet everything on LinkedIn. Yeah, there's just one thing that I did that made all the difference as well. And that is... And that is... That- <laughs> okay. <laughs> is, it a, is it a totally different thing? No, it's not a totally different thing. Pero parang everything, everything, everything that I did, parang I would not have as much DC as I, as I have now if I didn't, it didn't first understood. Parang it didn't first took the time to understand if, yung how the process works. So what I did was, sabi ko, again, my... My mantra is just that, do not overthink everything. If I adapt your saying a packet, packet, just post it. Diba? Okay. Post something on LinkedIn. I don't care what time is it. Kasi yung iba nag, nag, nag-overthink na, ah, okay, should I post on EST, PST, CST, Philippine time, Singapore time, China time, whatever time. It doesn't matter. Why? You don't even know if that post will go viral or people will like that. You don't even know who will be seeing that post. Just freaking post something. So if you look at my LinkedIn profile, it's, you will begin to see that I only posted parang four posts. One is um, behind the scene, chatbot development or something behind the scene, restaurant. Um, para, kasi I was building a restaurant bot at that time and I was building a demo bot for Honda. So I literally mm-hmm. just screenshot yung many chat many chat na platform na hindi mo makikita kung ano yung nakasulat syempre bakit hindi ko makikita diba pero makikita mo lang yung box mga boxes now for a chatbot creator parang no brainer why should you freaking post that parang you're such an embarrassment diba kasi simple simple niyan bakit mo i-post i literally just posted that and that got me 1000 something views pero 10 likes lang pero 1000 something views why? Because ayo ko yung sabihin mo. Ayo ko na. Para okay. sa next week na to. <laughs> Pero I'm just at bottom. Line. 
Bottom okay, line, bottom line. Don't overthink the process. You you won't know what works until you try it. So you might as well try it first before you begin to conclude on something. Okay. Agree. So that's all for tonight. Let's see if we could get 50 people. Diba? Let's see if we could get 50 people. And only if we get 50 people to take action, I'll include us coaches, especially me. Gusto kong gawin to. Kasi, diba? let's eat our own cooking. Diba? Yun lang naman yun. And see if effective pa talaga. And the only why, let's find out next week. Okay, so that's it. Let's watch the replay. I'm sure we all need to watch the replay. And if you need to rest, let's rest. If you want to hustle, let's go hustle. And happy Sunday night, everyone. Hopefully, we'll see you again next week, Charlene. All right? Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you.